Today, I quickly want to um, go over systems, kind of what you need to have set up. So first of all, you need to make sure that you have some type of CRM somewhere where you're inputting people's information. You want to make sure that you have their name, their phone number, their email, their address, whatever information, put it on there. If you're completely new, you have never done any deals, this is where you're going to want to start to put everyone that you know, maybe friends, family, old co-workers, anyone and everyone that you have, all of their information is going to go there. For the most part, your brokerage is probably going to provide you with some type of CRM. Um, in the event that maybe you don't, you don't want to use that or you maybe are not even licensed and you want to get a head start, I have created some Google spread, spreadsheets that you guys have access to. All of this is under your course materials, so you can take a look at that. And pretty much the, the purpose of putting all of these people in these spreadsheets is for the event that whenever you do have a CRM, maybe the one that your office gives you, it's much easier for you to import all of your contacts and have it there. And at the same time, let's say that, for example, you end up leaving the brokerage that you're in, um, you have everything outside of their system. Because usually if you have everything within their system, you leave and they keep everything and you just are left with nothing. So having a CRM is really important. So again, I have those spreadsheets. I also have created a template on Trello. Trello, if you guys are not familiar with it, um, I have also done a video where I share with you exactly how I created that template. But the way that I did it, it's super easy. You put, let's say you have a lead, you have different categories and you put the person's name, um, you move it around depending on where they're at in the process, whether it's, for example, talking to a lender, under contract, active, um, hot lead, or a lead six months from now, whatever that is, you can customize the Trello template that I created to whatever works best for you. But the, the cool thing is that having something like this will allow you to always have access to be able to see who you need to be talking to, who you need to follow up with. Because sometimes what happens is that, you know, we start talking to people, we get leads, and then we have like a million pieces of paper everywhere, post-it notes here and there. And then you're like, okay, which person do I have to follow up with? And then next thing you know, you find something on the floor, like, oh man, I was supposed to call this person last week. So having something organized that shoots you um, maybe dates and times that you need to follow up is absolutely necessary. So Trello allows you to do that. And it also comes with a mobile app. So you always have that in your phone. Next, you want to have a email blast service. So for example, there's MailChimp, there is Constant Contact, there's also a Chrome extension. And I'm going to talk a lot about Chrome extensions because I'm I'm a nerd and I'm always looking for whatever is it's free that I can incorporate into what I'm using even better. So there's a Chrome extension called Flash Issue. So Flash Issue, if you get it, it works with Gmail. Um, I think it's maybe like 150 or $200 for two years and you can send up to 100,000 emails. So you have more than enough to be able to use for a really long time. So with Flash Issue, you can create newsletters. So the whole purpose of having some type of email blast service is that as you are accumulating people's information, you want to stay top of mind and be sending newsletters and emails with any type of updates that you want to give them. Maybe it's a market update. Maybe it's um, you just listed a home, send it just listed, just sold, whatever that is. This, these platforms are really great for you to be able to send email blasts. So with the brokerages that you're with, a lot of the CRMs will come along with like a website. So this will allow you to send buyers or sellers your website. And if they opt in to wanting to get notification or alerts for homes for sale on the back end, you should be getting those notifications as well. And you can also be setting them up on alerts, depending on what it is that they're looking for. Next, going along the lines of emails, you want to create some templates. So email templates for emails that you frequently send out. 
So for example, you want to have a template where it's just information about you and yourself or your team or whatever information you want to provide to anyone. Let's say a great example would be if I just got off the phone with a lead, maybe we had a great conversation. They're not ready to do something now. And I say, Hey, you know, Carrie, I'm going to shoot you a quick email with information about myself, my team and my company, just so that you can put a face to the name and know who we are. So it's just information about you very quick. What I would also recommend for you to do is film a video of you introducing yourself and it can be less than a minute, but now whoever you send this to will be able to be like, oh, okay. So that's what Loida looks like. You know, she sounds just like how she looks. So now I can feel like I know her, even though I've never met her. So that's an example of a template. Another great template is steps for buyers. So let's say someone told you, you know, Luz, I want to buy. Perfect. You know what? I'm going to shoot you a quick email that kind of details. It's an outline just so that you have a good idea as to what to expect and what the next steps are. So you create that, you save it as a template on Gmail, and now you have it. So now you don't have to keep on writing those long emails and the same thing for the steps for sellers. So anything that you guys, um, find yourself emailing all the time, make that a template that way you already have it ready. And depending on the client, you just add the name and send it out. Also set up uh, an account with, for example, Calendly. So that people can look at your calendar if they want to set some time to talk to you. This is going to come in really handy, especially to have that link for your social media platforms, because you never know, someone might reach out and they might want to talk to you. If they find that link with your availability, they're just going to go to it, put their information, and now you're going to capture their information and be able to reach out. So you can set those accounts up. It's free. Calendly, I, I think you get like three calendars for free. And then after that, I don't know, there's like some small fee, but it's not like you need a lot of different calendars anyway. So look into that. Um, that's a great way for you to set up consultations with buyers or sellers so that they can take a look at, at your availability. Next, you want to have some type of electronic signature software or program. So like DocuSign, HelloSign, Another Chrome extension is called CocoSign. Um, and CocoSign is more affordable than the other two that I just mentioned. But again, you guys can look into whichever ones you might be more comfortable with. I personally use DocuSign through our company at eXp. I know that um, we have access to some other type of um, electronic signature application but I'm just so used to DocuSign and it's super easy to use that I have it on my phone that I just stuck to that. And I think if you are a part of the National Association of Realtors, there might be some type of discount, but whatever you decide to use, make sure that you have that ready because you never know, you might have your first deal or your next deal and um, the person might be somewhere else or they might be so ready that they're like, you know what, send everything over. Okay, cool. You know what, I'm going to send it to you within the next hour and a half. Just take a look at your email. So learn how to play around with it, how to use it, how to add signatures, but make sure that you have that set up. Next, you want to start creating now, even if you are brand new and you have never done any deals. Um, once you get into the rhythm of things and you find out how like certain processes work, write that down because eventually I'm sure. And hopefully after this, you guys will start getting so many deals that you'll want to hire maybe an assistant or maybe another agent, or maybe you're going to want to create your own team. So instead of you having to teach them everything from scratch, now you have like an outline it's called, um, usually they refer to as standard operating procedures. It's pretty much an outline. Okay. Let's say you got an offer. These are the next steps. Boom, 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 boom. So you can already start getting ahead by creating things like this now. It's super helpful. It's going to come in very handy as you are getting better. You know what the processes are. And again, it doesn't take that long. You just write things down. Moving on Google calendar. I have always had Gmail account. I have always had Google calendar, the app on my phone, but it wasn't until last year that I really started using it and sticking to it. Anything that I had going on, I made sure to put it on my calendar 
because for me and hopefully for you too, I feel that if it's not written down and I haven't made time for it, I'll probably forget it or something comes up. And for me, if I write it down, it's because it's important if I have set some time aside. So having Google Calendar um, is a great way for you to be able to also just keep track of your schedule. Let's say you don't have any, any deals going on, but you've told yourself that you're gonna prospect from eight to 10 and then admin work in the afternoon, whatever that looks like, you can create a calendar where it has your schedule so you can visually see what you're supposed to be doing. In terms of productivity, what I like to do is that anytime that I make calls, I always put my cell phone on do not disturb. And all of my apps, I don't have the notifications on. So I don't have the notifications on for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I took those notifications off a long time ago because what would happen is that I would get notifications and it's almost like you're excited to see like what it was or who it was. And then you get distracted. And then next thing you know, you're like doing something else when you should be focusing on your prospecting. So if there's one thing that I'll reiterate is that whenever you're doing whatever it is that you're doing, if it's eight to 12 and you're supposed to be practice, uh, prospecting, make sure that you're a hundred percent focused on doing that task that you're supposed to be doing. Not like, you know, doing something else and multitasking because then what ends up happening is that let's say you are on the phone with someone that is super motivated, ready to sell, but you're, you're spaced out some, somewhere else. If they sense that you're, you're like wasting time, you don't know what to say, they're just gonna hang up. And now you lost out on an opportunity that could have been yours in a listing appointment. So you always wanna be focused. Something that helped me to be focused during that time frame, because if you're making calls, it's gonna get boring. And you're gonna be like, man, I don't feel like doing this. But what I would do is that I would call for 40 minutes at a time. Then I would take like a 10 minute break. Then I would start again and I would do that. So you can do that. That way it's almost like it's not the entire three, four hours of you just looking at a screen. I also like to stand when I'm making calls. Um, I have a standing desk. I can move it up, move it down. Because if I'm sitting down, I feel sometimes like it's much easier for me to get bored and, and sound like, um, like I'm falling asleep, but if I'm standing, then I'm moving. I also like to have a mirror in front of me just to make sure that I'm always smiling. Uh, that's something that I learned from the beginning. If you are smiling when you're making phone calls, you even sound like you're happier. And it's almost like the person that's on the other line can sense that you're happy. Um, I've been told by people over the phone, they're like, are you laughing or smiling? I was like, no, I'm not laughing, but you know, I'm just having such a great day and I'm ready to help you. So what happened with your property that it didn't sell? And now it becomes like, I could, even though I can't see them physically, I can tell that they're smiling. So of course they're going to remember me, even though like they don't know what I look like. So smiling is really, really important. Um, I encourage you all to smile more. I feel that now I'm always walking with like a permanent smile. If you guys see my YouTube videos, I feel that every single video, I'm always smiling, even if whatever it is I'm talking about. So smiling on the phone, at the door in person is gonna come a long way. Um, and talking about smiling and video recording, I wanna next talk about um, a video recording platform so that you guys can have in case you are gonna be sending video text messages. And that is Loom, L-O-O-M. Maybe you guys have heard of it, maybe not. So Loom is a, it's a website, it's free, but then there's also, you know, if you upgrade, I think it's like $8 a month, which I think is totally worth it. It's a great way for you to screen record. So if you are doing like a presentation, you wanna screen record, you do this through Loom and then you can send a link to whoever you wanna send it to. And then you can see when that person took a look at that. Along with that, you can download the app and a great way that I like to use it is that, for example, I like to send video messages to any leads that I get. If I had a good conversation with you over the phone, I'm going to text you a video of me just introducing myself so that you remember my face. Cause if you're getting a, like a hundred phone calls from agents, um, you're probably not going to get any videos. So I have an iPhone, but I noticed that a lot of people 
um, have Androids. So if I would send a video, it would come out like if I filmed it in a, you know, a phone from the 80s, all pixelated. And I'm like, no, you know, this is not going to work. So we got to figure out something so that if I send a video, it comes out in good quality. So with Loom, you're able to record these videos and text that link to that person. So when that person receives that link through their text message, it opens up as the actual video. And then I can see when that person saw my video. So I always like to keep track to see if people are actually watching my stuff, if I'm following up with them. Because then at that point, if I don't hear from them, I know that I at least they saw me. And for those maybe five, 10 seconds, they thought of me and they thought about real estate.